I want to show you how you can make bulk additions to your customer and customer job list in QuickBooks Desktop. So to do this, if you go to Add Multiple Customer Jobs, you'll see that there is a grid which shows the same information as QuickBooks shows in your customers, it just shows it in grid fashion. You can customize the columns for this to include what's important to you. For today, I've chosen the name as well as the company name and a job of because this is really important to me today. I want to show how to add jobs to my existing customers. I also have first name, last name, phone number. You can use the customized columns to add or to subtract whatever is important to you. I'm going to remove the alternate phone number, but perhaps I want the email to show up. And you can move the columns around to what best suits you. So if you already have an Excel sheet, perhaps you want the columns to mimic what your Excel sheet is. So for my example, I've chosen to add a job to Dunning's Pool, Peacock Homes, Pete Harbin Contractor, and another one to Dunning's Pool Depot. I've done it in this way so that you can see it doesn't necessarily matter the order how you have things in. What matters most is that your columns in your Excel file match your columns to your QuickBooks file. I've put this top row in to label the columns to keep me organized to make sure that I'm using the right column for the right information. Now you simply copy, highlight, and then control C. Come over to your add multiple list entries window. Control V to paste. And it puts all of the four items that I want to add in here for me with just a control C and a control V. Now I've chosen Dunnings, Peacock, and Pete because you can see them over here and you'll be able to see quickly what happens as soon as I hit Save Changes. Alright, it tells me four customer records have been saved. And now I see my one test, my AAA under Dunnings. I see my Able City under Peacock and my Acme Home under Pete Harbin. I would suggest testing this out with a couple of entries before you do a mass import of information. You want to make sure that the data is hitting the correct fields. Um, for example, your phone number, your address. If you notice when I did my import, I did the name twice, both the name and the company name. This is the job name, which is this first field that transports over here. The company name is what transports over here. So let me show you just one more time to make it perhaps a little bit clearer. We'll do second test. All right, so I'm going to take this so that you can see where the name and the company name come in on the QuickBooks job. So under Dunning's Pool, I've added number two test and the company name is Testing Company. As soon as I hit Save Changes, it's in there. And you'll see the job name and the company name come in in two different fields. Usually they are the same name, but for your purposes they might be different. One other thing that you might find helpful is when you go to Add Multiple Customer Jobs, if you have a lot of customers, this can be cumbersome to drag down to the end. If you choose unsaved customers, it gives you a blank field to work with.